Make it public, former FLA chairman wants former National Security Minister to explain why a man with adverse traces got a gun license and a prominent attorney weighs in. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Archibald Gordon. And I'm Janela Precious. Also this evening, more focus on reducing crime. Prime Minister Andrew Holness to set up crime commission. Airbag scare. Vehicle dealers rush to replace airbags blamed for some deaths in vehicular crashes. I have the car. The Prime Minister Andrew Holness hints that he could release damaging information on PNP members. Promise kept. Work starts to build bridge in Chesterfield, St. Mary. And in business news, still sinking. The dollar falls to a new low. There's also sports, sports commentary and weather in the primetime package. But before the break, the feedback question. Tonight we're asking, what is your view on the Prime Minister's announcement that he will be setting up a crime commission? Share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet at Television Jam. Up first this evening, a former chairman of the Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA, wants the former National Security Ministry to explain why a man with adverse traces got a gun license. Robert Gregory also supports the call from the opposition PNP for an audit of the 29 appeal cases which the former National Security Minister overturned. So did that happen under his watch? TVJ's Andrea Chisholm explains. What on earth could it be that would have caused that radical decision to overturn all of the evidence-based decisions made by your board and your review panel. A question from former chairman of the Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA, Robert Gregory, to former National Security Minister Robert Montague. The debate has been raging since TVJ broke news that Mr. Montague approved a gun license for a man we called Person A, even though the police said he was a member of a criminal gang and involved in lottery scamming. At a press conference on Friday, August 10, Mr. Montague said the lottery scamming charges against person A were thrown out and he became a national security asset. I don't know what that means. I mean, uh, I'm not really versed in national security, but I would imagine that the senior people in the CIB and the National Intelligence Bureau would be cognizant of this and the letters the, the, the notices that come to the FLA um, is under the signature of this, the senior most person in the head of the in, um, National Intelligence Bureau, the head of the CIP. So um, I would imagine that they would know that this person is an, is an asset or whatever and therefore treated differently. Mr. Gregory is also suggesting that Mr. Montague explains the issue to the public to clear up any doubts and restore confidence in the system. The information or the, the additional evidence can be finessed so as not to, of course, um, reveal anybody's identity and so on. But at least a sense of what it could have been. So, during his time at the FLA, 2012 to 2016, did a national security minister overrule any such decision by the review board? No, I've never had that. What I have had is the minister sending back to the board um, a particular file and asking us to do an additional review. Typically, it is with additional information that the minister would ask us to, to take into consideration. The board and review board of the FLA include a retired director of public prosecutions, a retired judge of the Supreme Court or the Court of Appeal, or a retired senior police officer. Meanwhile, Mr. Gregory also agreed with calls for an audit of the 29 appeal cases in which the minister overruled the decisions of the review board, saying competent people work with the authority. Um, there are people working there, professional people working there, and um, people of integrity. And we don't want the public to start doubting because, you know, it undermines our sense of well-being. And Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.